So you want to become an artist like your favorite artist Vincent van Gogh. What's that? Your favorite artist is Andy Warhol? Really? I guess I just feel like I mean, you know what you're entitled to your own opinion, but it's it's wrong. Anyway, so you want to be an artist like your buddy Vincent van Gogh, but you don't have any art supplies and all you got is a Nintendo Switch with Super Smash Brothers Brawl, right? Well, you're in luck because you can make yourself a me fighter artist and his name is Vincent van Gogh. What? That's not van Gogh? That's Vince from some art game that Nintendo made? Hmm. Well, it doesn't change anything because we're still gonna call him Van Gogh. But that's not how you spell Van Gogh. Wait, really? That's actually... How do you spell Van Gogh? G-H at the... No, okay. I prefer... It's... It's cooler this way because I can call it Van Gogh Unchained, you know? It's like a pun. It's like a pun like Django Unchained, Van Gogh Unchained, the D is silent. You get it, right? Ugh, just roll... Just roll the music. Now I'm not accepting chums into my art class. If you want to get through this, you gotta listen to all of my steps. You hear me, young Padawan? Good. Lesson number one. Dress up like Vincent Van Gogh. You're gonna need Vince's hat and Vince's outfit because that will equip you with a paintbrush. Then your neutral special needs to be Gale Strike. It has to be. Your side special has to be Gale Stab. Your up special has to be Hero Spin. And your down special doesn't really matter. Your voice, it doesn't matter as much, but Vincent Van Gogh would probably have a low pitch voice then you know? It makes sense. Practice in the training ground. Get yourself a feel for this. You got it? Feels good? Once you get a nice feel for it, we're gonna go online and show people the true art that you have. How, you ask? By going online and entering quick play. Get ready to show people your art. Show the swords people that the brush is mightier than the sword. Now, I like to call this move the death stroke. Get it? Because it's a brush. You know, like strokes. There's gonna be a lot of these, so uh, hope you're ready. Lesson number two. Now, this is the most important combo that you're ever gonna need to know. I call it Starry Night. Nice, beautiful swirl with an end swirl finish. Just like the painting, you know? That very, uh, classic painting. I'm pretty confident that this is how Vincent van Gogh came up with the painting. Like, think about it. It's just a perfect swirl combination with the more swirls. It just loses this combo. Now remember, our goal here is to show this art to as many people as possible. And the issue is, some people get the art and some people just don't. Take Little Mac for instance, he's a buffoon. This man will never understand, but you gotta just teach him the lesson of art. And eventually, he too can understand the beauty that is Starry Night. But not everybody's gonna appreciate your art, and that will be your excuse for any time you lose, cause you're not bad. They just don't understand you. Take Kirby for instance, he's a man of high taste. He understands the art, but just rejects it like a critic. Ugh, art critics, they're the worst. They like simple stuff like one stroke of the brush and that will sell for millions. Not even joking. But then when all else fails, you can always resort back to your one best art, the Starry Night. Now you may be asking yourself, are you just a one trick pony then? Do you have any other good art? And the answer to that is, no. I mean, I don't think anyone knows any other art by Vincent van Gogh. Okay, you know what? I bet you there's gonna be like a thousand people in the comments that are just gonna start spamming all these different art pieces by van Gogh. I get it. It's just a joke. Or is it? I'm just kidding, it's a joke. Now sometimes some art may literally lead you down a downward spiral, but as long as you stick with the classics at the end, you'll be fine. See? The classics always work. Lesson number three, avoid children. You see, children, they just don't get your art. Their brains, their little stupid brains just haven't had enough time to develop, so they just will reject you pretty quickly. You can't take offense to that. Even if they have telepathic powers, they're much stupider than they come off. They have no understanding of the value of art. That's exactly why you lose to them all the time. <laughs> Now take an old man like Ganondorf, will he love the art or will he just reject it like the kids? Well, sometimes art just makes you want to kill yourself. I mean, there's a movie coming out about it with Jake Gyllenhaal on Netflix. It looks pretty cool. Lesson number four, beware of art thieves. Take someone like Zelda, right in front of your face, she will steal your art. Look at that, you threw a starry night at her and then she draws it right back. Do not let her get away with this. Show her that you are the true artist. Show her the original Starry Night. 
Now, you have learned everything that I could show you. You need to pass down this art for generations and generations. You need an apprentice. Lesson number five, get an apprentice. I guess young Jakey will have to do. Now at first your apprentice, he may not trust you, so you have to just fight him like normal, but once you can kind of wear him down, he'll become your apprentice. Now, the easiest art to teach anybody is the art of to bag. What is this you ask? It is a simple art that has been transferred down from video game to video game. Now see if he joins in on your crusade to Tabag. He seems to resist it. We have to try harder. Now some apprentices, they may need some sense just knocked inside them. And then eventually they will break. Now what's this? Is he a- YES! The art of Tabag has been passed down. However, he is not ready for Starry Night just yet. You will need much more training. You are now my apprentice, Jakey. Now, an apprentice is someone that you should be able to trust with your deepest, darkest secret. For example, I'm gonna show him how my ear got cut off. And that is how it feels to lose your left ear. You hear how nothing is coming out of the left side, it's just all on the right. Ugh, oh, it is the worst feeling, and that is literally my life as a tortured artist. Jakey, you have to learn these things if you're gonna become a master artist like me. Eventually, your apprentice will become a master and learn the Starry Night, and he'll learn to dodge it. It's pretty easy for him to do after a certain point, but you can always put him in his place by getting rid of his other ear. It's not fun. I guess you can say he'll never Oh my, has it finally happened? The student has become the master. <laughs> I'll never forget you, Jakey, even though you probably don't know who I am. The final lesson involves fighting your inner demons. Some people hate their own art. I mean, look at this guy. Like, look at that art. Who, who would draw just like circles and stuff? Like, what a bad drawing. Now, the big question you should be asking yourself is, is this just a big metaphor for hating your own art? Or are you literally fighting your art? And in that case, are you going crazy? Because if you're going crazy, you might want to snap out of it. Just remind yourself that you have good art like the Starry Night and the tea bag. Don't worry if people call you a one-trick pony. That one trick is what makes you the millions of bucks. Except most artists, they don't make any money at all and they'll probably die hungry and sad. <sighs> nope, snap out of it. Your bad art is not a reflection of you. Your best art is the reflection of you. Remember, if you created it, then you can destroy it. And now that you have finally moved on from your old art, you now have to face your inner demons. Which in this case is portrayed by Dark Pit because, you know, just I just felt like when I fought him, I was like, that's hilarious. That'd be funny if like you're like literally fighting your inner demons. No? No? I feel like it's just kind of going too deep. Whatever, it's just a video. But for me, my inner demons are my laziness, my inability to come up with creative ideas, and of course, my lack of focus. That is my biggest problem I have. But most of all, it feels like I never have enough time when I actually do. And that's basically why I don't make two videos a week, because I'm just the worst. I hope you enjoyed that. The moral to this entire thing is everybody has an inner artist in them and you gotta use a paintbrush to beat the crap out of people with it, you know? That's just, it's just life. Okay, I'm out. If you're actually interested in a me sword fighter tutorial video, I can make one in the future, but until then, this main combo that I used, which I called the uh, Starry Knight, it's actually a combo that I saw from Push Block Gaming. They're a really small but really cool YouTube channel that focuses primarily on making Smash content, and I think it'd be unfair to not give them a shout out since this is basically their combo that they came up with, but you should check out their video on it. I'll put a link in the description. They're awesome. Go check them out. Ooh, 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 ooh.